All right, the head now, most complicated, of course. Okay, let's do our little trick. I'm gonna hide the the hair. The hair. Actually, this is less complicated. Sorry. Uh, new UV grid. Going to rendered mode. Uh, no, not this kind of rendered. Textured mode. Oh, because I didn't put it to the face. Select everything. Remove the see-throughness. Okay. So it seems like it's good, but in fact there are these cuts everywhere, so that won't do. Where do we d cut usually the heads? We cut them behind. Hopefully, oops, I'm gonna delete the uh, the light there. Where is it? So like this, zoom in. Okay, we usually cut them behind and on top of the head because hopefully. Uh, Hopefully something will hide that uh, hair, for example, and people pay more attention to the features here rather than the top and the behind of the head, but it won't be pretty behind that. And often we open, we cut a little bit like this to allow for it to open. Control E, mark scene, unwrap. So as you can see, it spreads the whole thing out like this, and it does doesn't look bad at all. But the, except maybe on top here, where this is all broken up and behind. One thing that I don't like is that the face here doesn't have enough, uh, has less detail. You see the the squares are bigger than here, which means that it actually has less detail here than elsewhere and it should be the opposite. So one way we can fix that is select the vertices that are related to those features and scale them. I can use soft proportional mode. That's the little round thing here. Enable. Yep. Maybe less effect. I'm scrolling the wheel. So as I'm scaling this, I'm getting more detail. But it, it squashes the rest. Let's see what happens. So I got more detail. So I'm, I would need a little bit more detail on the nose as well. And on the chin, maybe I should turn off proportional mode after all. Just for this fine tuning. Okay. That's pretty good. One thing I can try also is to relax because I've been fiddling with these things. By relaxing, it will sort of uh, try to get back its original shape. Control V to relax. Okay. So also you've noticed that here and behind the squares are becoming rotated. That's because of that strange shape here it's taking up there. I'm going to hide the image so that we can see better. Oops. Ah. Put up a new image or just hide it. Uh, in some software you can do this better. Okay, <clears throat> so here we can work with pinning. Pinning is... I will remove this, the syncing. Pinning is making uh, vertices not affected by the unwrap. So I'm gonna 
pin a few vertex that I don't want to move and using live unwrap I will move some of the pinned vertices and the others will adjust. It's a bit hard to explain it, I think it will be easier when you see it. I'm going to select feet vertex vertices that I don't want to move. Okay. P for pin. Then I'm going to select other vertices. This one, this one, this one, this one. I'm pinning them. I'm going to go into live unwrap. And I'm going to take this one. And as I move it, you see, up, I can sort of spread the others adjust to it. So those up there will remain a bit weird, but it might not be so bad down there. Okay, going, I'm going to put back the, the image. So it's a bit better behind there and up there, not so much. It will never be great up there. But we'll hide it with the hair, right? Okay, we could work with that. Not perfect, but for an intro class, enough.